Hello there. Um, in this video, we're going to um, convert the Gatsby starter block over to use um, Gatsby MDX. Um, MDX is basically um, uh, lets you run um, JSX in your Markdown files. Um, so it's pretty neat. You can use sort of uh, React components in, in your, your documentation. Uh, pretty cool. Um, so we're just going to run through configuring that on uh, Code Sandbox. So in Code Sandbox, you can um, you can import uh, straight from GitHub um, because we're going to do that because the um, the, the Gatsby starter on uh, Code Sandbox is just the, the Gatsby default starter. So um, Gatsby starter blog. Top result, I think, um, and um, we're just going to take that URL from GitHub and um, post it into our Create Sandbox. And then this import from GitHub, if you scroll down, sometimes it's uh, it's not in the view. And then it'll bring up this um, like a dashboard part for the for GitHub. So you're putting GitHub here. And uh, it's prepends it with um, code sandbox. So we're going to open that. Close these other windows, tabs. Um, and this is our starter block. So um, push F11 to bring the, the editor to the full screen. Um, so then we can use like tab commands and uh, and whatnot in in um in code sandbox here so um here's our blog what we're going to go and edit are the um gatsby node and gatsby config and uh, the blog post template and the, uh, the index file for the pages. Um, but before we do that, we're going to need to install some dependencies. So um, we're going to use uh, Gatsby MDX or Gatsby. Um, and then um, MDX. And then um, this is going to go off now and um, fork this sandbox in, into my own uh, my own code sandbox area. So it's just going to spin up the the sandbox again. Um, but while it's doing that, we can install um, MDX dash JS. I think it is um, for MDX and MDX JS tag as well. Do that here. <laughs> Uh, tag. Okay, so while our dependencies install, um, we are going to go and edit these files. So, let's be node first of all, and then in there, um, this straightforward enough and uh, this is going to go from all markdown remark to all markdown oh sorry all mdx um and then the um power down here for our create nodes we're not going to have markdown remark anymore we're going to have mdx um and that's it for gatsby node gatsby config we're going to replace uh, gatsby transformer remark with Gatsby MDX. That's gonna be doing all our transforms for us. And then in our options here, we need um, extensions for um, MDX and also uh, MD markdown files. Um, okay. And then we're gonna resolve images responsive iframe um, and 
wrap these up as well. I'm just going to copy these lines down and shift alt um, and then we can duplicate these lines um, and then multiple cursor control alt this is windows keys by the way um, and then we're going to move up prism js into this and then uh, I'm using alt and the arrow keys to move these lines of code here okay um, let's get be config done um, look here. Ah, nearly missed that. So this is going to be um, this is for our posts. This is going to be uh, OMDX. Okay. Um, this is within the uh, the the main part where we generate our uh, our pages. Um. So we're going to need this uh, later on when we query um, in um, in blog post here. Um, so here, instead of using the uh, dangerously set in a HTML um, for the post HTML, which comes from our Gatsby query, we're going to use um, MDX MDX renderer and that comes from uh, let's be mdx, MDX uh, renderer um, and markdown remark gets placed with mdx um, mdx renderer we're going to use further down here and here yeah, auto close brackets not working So um, this is going to be post um, code body. Um, we're going to have to add this to the um, to the GraphQL query we've got at the bottom of the page here. And um, yep, uh, HTML. We're going to replace that with code, and then the body of the query. Um, and this is going to be MDX, not marked every mark. Um, and then last up, we've got our index page. Um, so all marked every mark is going to be all MDX. Mull. Uh, and all, all marked every mark here is uh, all MDX. Okay moment of truth now all of our files changed we're going to need to restart the sandbox i think um let's we'll go into here and say save all and um should kick off the dev server again we shall see though it doesn't look like anything's happening um well, we just said try restarting the sandbox there so we'll do that on the uh server control panel and the options over here restart the sandbox um we should get some errors uh, but we should also get our starter blog okay cool so we've now gone over to uh, use mdx uh, and md uh, for our post blog content so our blog content is 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 here um let's get some content for um for that um so our content is in the content folder on the blog so we're going to do um our own one so if we hover over here we've got a new directory um, and uh, first MDX blog post. Uh -huh. Right, and then in here we have an index file, which is going to be a uh, MDX file. 
then we're going to need to put in some front meta keep it consistent with the other ones hello world copy paste to this um I was just about to use control w there i believe that when you've got it um you use f11 so you've got full screen it doesn't close the window but i didn't want to take the chance um so uh, uh um boom um and then today's date is 2019 april 9th and uh we'll do it at 12 o'clock in the afternoon that is fine okay uh content so we save that oh you can see it was already rendering over on the panel over here so we've got our first mdx post okay so that's that but no jsx so let's um quickly go through and add in we are going to use style components for this because I don't know anything else. <laughs> uh, uh, we're gonna have to configure it, I think, in Gatsby. Let's just try to do it this way. Uh, store components. Um I need one for Gatsby as well. Gatsby store components. So what am I doing this for? Um, it's just so I can make a, um, wow, it's really slow. Um, just so I can make a component to, to import into our blog. Um, so I'm just gonna um, open up a new tab. Okay, and uh, let's be, I'm not entirely sure what I need to import here. Let's be start components. Uh, one. Just need guess we plug in style components. Oh, what is going on with my computer? Pretty slow. Right, guess we plug in style components. And I guess we're going to need to configure this as well. Don't, uh, won't take long. Uh, we've got style components I just installed, I think. And then our oh, Babel style components. I don't, I don't really think it's going to matter that much for tutorial. Let's uh, get it out of the way. And then um, we need to take that our components and add it to our config. So, 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 so. check star components is on here. There it is, star components. Okay, cool. Um, um, Gets be config. Add our resolve it in the plugins? I don't think we do. I think that will be sufficient. What's this? Maybe not. Uh, oh. <laughs> Trying to put it into the uh, Gatsby source file system. So, um, save that. So it's broken. Refreshing. Okay. So, 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 right. Okay. So we've got our MDX file. Let's make a component to um, 
render in there. So, uh, but button, and then um, in here, just say, uh, uh, start from. Is this working yet? No. And then we're just going to export. Equals styled button. We're going to have it. Last imaginative. Uh, all right, forty px. With eighty px. Okay, that's a that's a nice enough looking button, I guess. Um, and in our next mdx file what we'll do is uh we can now import importy jeez um oh, but from our components so let's uh back one back two back three and it's going to be source um, components. Uh, what did I call it? But. Um, and then now we should be able to render our button on our. Let's do it in here. Just as uh, normal JSX. Okay. Take a look. I'm going terribly wrong now. <clears throat> but is not defined. Um, I think you find it is. <laughs> um, right, so import one, two, three, source components button. Um, Mm. Oh, we're just waiting for. It looks like we're just waiting for uh, MDX here, actually, rather than, um, rather than me having a coding issue. Um, taking his time. Yes. Let's try, let's try restarting the um, sandbox. There we go. Okay, so um, maybe I should have put a fixed width on the um, button there okay cool so um, there you have it we're using a, a JSX component in um, our MD markdown file or MDX file um, so um, I hope that helped um, and uh, thank you for watching cheers <laughs>